Hey guys and welcome back to today's video. So right here I have this Fluval Spec, I believe it's like a three gallon aquarium. And I was thinking that in today's video we could set it up. So as I mentioned it's made by Fluval, it is three gallons. It has this nice LED light on top with different colors. So it can grow some live plants but that's not what we're going to be doing today. Maybe. Also back here is a filter chamber, there are some sponges and some filter media down here and then a return pump in this chamber and we can also go ahead and add a heater in here if we're going to keep tropical fish. But today we're going to go ahead and set this tank up a little bit different than normal. So normally you would put one color of substrate down, add your plants, add your fish, stuff like that. But today we're going to be doing something special on the bottom of this tank. So July 4th was um, a couple days ago. It's not July 4th anymore, it's actually not even close to July 4th anymore. Doesn't matter. Today we're going to be making an American flag aquarium. So basically we need some colored gravel, which I have right here. Now, we have some white gravel, obviously for the white and the flag. We have some blue gravel. And then also I have these two uh, plants, a blue one and a red one. I don't think we're going to put plants in here though because I think that would mess up the scape of kind of the American flag. And then we're missing red gravel. Let's go ahead and grab that. Okay, so I'm at Petco. We're gonna go ahead and go in there see what they have in terms of gravel and see what they have in terms of some fish that are red, white, and blue. A few moments later. So, Petco did have the fish. We did get the fish. We got three fish. I'll go ahead and explain them later. They didn't have red gravel. They only had pink gravel and purple gravel. So that was kind of a bust. I'm gonna go ahead and go to PetSmart and see if they have anything. A little longer than a few minutes later. So like quick change of plans. So I was like almost about to turn into PetSmart, but before I took the right into PetSmart, I was at a stoplight where I would take a right to go to Walmart. And I'm like, I bet you Walmart will probably have something and it will probably be cheaper than PetSmart. So Walmart's right behind me. I'm gonna go ahead and run in there and see and hope they have a tiny bag of red gravel. A little longer than a few minutes later. Guess what? They didn't have red gravel. So I went ahead, I looked around, they had nothing. I went on their website, I checked their website. They do have red gravel, but it's made by like a different brand so they don't carry it in stores. So I went ahead and went to PetSmart's website and it says they do have red gravel and it says they have it in stock. So I'm gonna go ahead and go there and hope they have red gravel. Cause it's gonna be pretty bad if they don't. So I got the gravel, finally. Six bucks later, I got this pretty big bag actually. We're not gonna need that much at all, but that was the only size that came in, so. I'll meet you back at home. So welcome to my bathroom. Here is where I'm gonna go ahead and set up the tank. So we have our white rocks, we have our red rocks, and we have our blue rocks right here. And then we have the Fluval Aquarium. Okay, so we're ready to get this started. I went ahead and grabbed some expert aquascaping tools right here. This is serious stuff. And we're gonna go ahead and start this out. But now the actual American flag has 13 stripes. Yeah, we can't make that happen in here. There's not enough room in this tank to make 13 stripes. So we're gonna make it work with like, maybe six or seven. We're gonna see how it all turns out. But I can tell you right now, it's not gonna be a true American flag because it will not have the correct amount of stripes. But I'm gonna go ahead and roll a time lapse and I'm gonna get started by placing a pile of blue rocks in this corner right here and then start doing alternating red and white stripes kind of down to the front. You'll see it take shape in the time lapse. Let's go. And here is what we have so far. So I went ahead and kept up with the real American flag where it starts with red and ends in red, so we got that down. But there is a few straggling rocks that are not in their correct section, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab tweezers, get real OCD about this, and clean it up a little bit. And just like that, things are cleaned up and looking a little bit better. Now all we have to do is get the water in here and get some fish. And here is that aquarium all filled up. As you can see, the flag turned out really nice. Now all we have to do is plug in the filter and we'll get some nice flow going on in the tank. Now if I were putting a betta fish in here, which I was looking at, but I didn't like any of the betta fish, if I was putting one in here, I'd go ahead and turn this flow down. But because the fish I'm putting in here are completely fine with flow, we're good to go on that. The tank's temperature is sitting at 76 degrees right now, which is perfect for the fish. And then back here, because Fluval has this nice media chamber, I was able to put a whole package of bio rings back there that I had in an established tank. So this tank is ultimately completely cycled. I'm gonna go ahead and give this time to clear up, and while it's clearing up, I'm gonna acclimate the three fish into here. And then I'll go ahead and show you the finished product with some plants, some fish, and our beautiful American flag on the bottom. A few moments later. And here is the final American flag aquarium. 
So the fish I went with were glowfish and their glowfish tetras. Now, honestly, this tank is a little bit small for them. I'm not gonna lie. And these are schooling fish. So I would recommend keeping them in about a group of four or five. So honestly, three of them in this size tank is not ideal. They honestly won't be in here for that long. I'm probably gonna move these guys into my 55 gallon and find a beta fish for this tank. I just wanted to get some fish to go ahead and put in here today. I went ahead and added some moss in here as well as some duckweed at the top. I was gonna put plants in, but these tetras will only be in here for a little bit and they don't care about plants. So they are doing great. As you can see, they're having a great time in here. We did put the cycles filter media in, so the aquarium is completely cycled. But that is basically it for the American flag aquarium. I think it turned out really well. It actually turned out a lot better than I was expecting. Oh yeah, um, I also bought a pool. I don't know if you guys saw, but I went ahead and made a poll on my community tab asking what I should do with this pool. It's about 600 gallons. It's 8 feet by 26 inches. Wow. It has a filtration system right down here, and it has a little jet right there. And uh, basically, I was at Target. I saw it, and I'm like, I need that. It was pretty cheap, too, so I went ahead and picked it up. It's got this nice little basket weave on the side. That doesn't matter, though. So I put a poll of what I should do with this, and you guys said I should put fish in here. And that was kind of my plan, but it didn't really work out. As you can see, we have a little chlorine floater in there right now. So this is a swimming pool that's um, really, really tiny. A couple of reasons this won't work out for fish, which I've come to find out. The filtration system is extremely small. It can keep the water clean, but it will not do anything for fish. Then my other issue is the sun. My koi pond has the umbrella over it, and my koi pond is also a little bit bigger than this pool. So the koi pond stays at a good enough temperature to be safe for the fish. However, I don't think this will. I think this will get too hot for the fish, and I don't want to take that risk. So for now, it's going to stay a swimming pool. Hopefully, though, maybe as things cool down or something, I can make something work. I really would like to get fish in here, or even maybe do turtles. They might be able to claw through and break it, though. I don't know. Well, I'll have to see how that goes. But for now, I can't really do anything fish-wise because I'm worried it will get too hot. The koi fish are all doing amazing. I just fed these guys. These guys are showing some beautiful colors. These guys are really growing up nicely. Very colorful fish. The plants are doing just okay. And it looks like we need to go ahead and empty our skimmer. And uh, half of their watermelon looks like it got sucked in there. The ducks are doing good, but I do need to come up with a better food system and probably water system for these guys. They always knock over their food bowl, so I need to find out a way to fix that. Also, this 110 gallon platy breeding tank is actually working out pretty nice because I have seen some baby fish around here, so that's really good. That's good news. My saltwater tank now is doing really good. As you can see, the starfish is just chilling right there. But I plan to add some more to this reef tank. Probably some more corals, maybe one more fish. So if I do happen to get some coral and fish for this tank, that will be in Sunday's video. So keep an eye out if you want to see some more saltwater reef tank stuff. My turtles learned a new trick. It's called begging for food. Oh wait, he does that all the time already. Now as for my 55 gallon freshwater community tank, I'm having something very annoying happening in here. I've talked about it a little bit before, but my plants in this tank just don't thrive as you can see and it's not because the lighting's not good enough or because I don't put enough fertilizer in here it's because of these piranha looking fish now these guys are not piranhas they are silver dollars but they are equally as aggressive as piranhas towards plants they eat plants now I didn't really pay for these fish I got them for free when I picked up my 55 gallon saltwater aquarium the same person who sold me the 55 gallon saltwater aquarium a long long time ago had a 10 gallon tank with these two fish in here the two silver dollars. So they just gave me them for free. I didn't really want them, but you know, it was a rescue mission. So they've been really thriving in this tank, thriving eating my plants, I mean. So my plants in here just get demolished, but I don't really want any fake plants in here. So it's kind of a dilemma what's going on with this tank. The fish are all super happy. The Owase canister filter is keeping everything nice and clean. And the fish really don't even seem to care. The angelfish is happy, the blood parrot's happy, all the glowfish are having a great time and so are the sharks and my little paradise fish right there. So I'm not sure what's gonna go on in this tank. I might try to add a few more live plants that I think are a little more sturdy, but Anubius is supposed to be a really sturdy and hardy aquarium plant, but it still is getting eaten. The mystery fish that I don't know where it came from is still in this shrimp tank, by the way. Thought I'd go ahead and give you an update on him. And my shrimp colony is doing absolutely amazing, as you can see. I don't know if I talked about it, but I sold a whole bunch of these guys off on eBay. And they're just starting to repopulate. So I'm going to go ahead and probably get ready soon to put a few more listings online. As you can see, we got tons of shrimp, which is always a nice sight to see. I even set up another 10-gallon tank. It's kind of a guppy grow-out tank slash a cherry shrimp breeding tank just to fulfill the amount of orders I get for cherry shrimp. I get so many of them. They sell so fast. 
that I always want to make sure I have backup on hand just in case. This tank's actually due for a water change as well, my uh, main shrimp tank, but I'm going to go ahead and feed these guys real quick. One of the foods I feed is the Bug Bites Pleco formula. I find that the shrimp really, really enjoy it. I'll just go ahead and take like this many pellets, dump them right in. They will sink down to the bottom and the shrimp will munch on them. As you can see, the shrimp, I've already found him after about two seconds. Anyway, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Good bye.